everyone, I'd like to share with you a project that I've been working on and also a swap that I'm going to be hosting on my blog and I'll have the link down below. It's been quite some time since I hosted a swap, but I'm really excited about this one. I've had the Sizzix telephone and address card die for the longest time. I had purchased this die because I've been wanting to alter a Rolodex card file forever and just thought this would be perfect to have all my scrappy friends address and also to have this as a swap. Now I bought this one from Office Max. Um, you can probably get one at any local office supply store. This one's called the Petite Card File. I like how it's just this, you know, bottom base and then it comes with the cards and the tabs. There are other different Rolodex out there, but I really like this one. This is what it looks like. Again, it's just really small and it's perfect to have on your desk. Now I cut out some medium weight chipboard using the die and this is what it looks like. It's really nice size as you can see. Um, a little bit larger than the ATC size so they're really fun to alter. This is just an example of what you can do. This is using Webster's Pages Wonderful Collection. Really beautiful collection. And before I get into the details of the swap, I just wanted to share with you also different shapes that you can add to your Rolodex aside for using this die or altering you know, the cards that it already comes with. I have um, both the mini ornamental and mini baroque die and this is the movers and shapers and this is what it would look like. This one is um, the baroque Again, this is using the Wonderful Collection, so these are just samples. And look how cute that would be on the Rolodex. Now you can make it also as a calendar. It doesn't have to just be an address book. You can even also have it as a mini album too. And then this is what the ornamental looks like. This one's my favorite. So if you put that on here, look how pretty that would look. Just really beautiful. I love the shape. Now, I've had this Seven Gypsies Punch for the longest time. I used to participate in ATC swaps with um, Split Coast Stampers, and I also hosted it on my blog. Um, and this is just perfect to punch out on the bottom of the Movers and Shapers Ornamental and Baroque die. As you can see, that's what I did. Rolodex does have a punch that will punch both holes for you. But since I've already had this, um, I just went ahead and used this one. Now, I used lightweight chipboard. Um, I wouldn't recommend to use um, your punch with medium weight chipboard, although it does work, and let me show you. I did try it, um, but again, I wouldn't recommend it because it is very thick chipboard. You might damage your punch. Um, if you don't have the die, you can create your own, and I'll put the dimensions of this actual die cut on the screen. I used um, my corner chomper to corner around the edges, and again, I used my punch to punch out the bottom. As you can see, it's really smaller than the original die, but it, it works, though. Let me show you. Um, and it fits perfectly. So um, these are other shapes that you can use on your Rolodex. And there's other ones. I mean, if you have other dies, I was even thinking of making a mini album with this using my cupcake die. Um, and that would be a cute birthday mini album and that you could put on your Rolodex. And you can alter these Rolodex if you'd like. Um, you can paint it, or, you know, stain it, whatever you want. And so, for the swap, I was wanting to do a address book, again, to have all my scrappy friends' addresses in there. And so I'm going to have all the information on my blog if you like to participate. Now, the collection I wanted to use was Graphic 45's Curtain Call. Now, the only thing is, they only have 10 design papers, which is double-sided. And so that's 20 designs you can choose from. And I only really need 13 of these to complete the whole alphabet because you would do A, B, you know, C, D. And so what I wanted to do is I'm only going to use one side of the design paper for you to alter to the front. Um, that's the only way I can get 13 of these cards covered. Um, the back side, you can either put black card stock, um, which will coordinate with the collection, or you can you know, paint it or whatever you want to do with it because you're going to put your information on the back anyways. 
because uh, really when you're flipping over this you're only going to see the front you're not really going to see too much of the back um, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to choose my favorite 13 um, I mean it's going to be kind of hard because I like all of them but I'm going to choose my favorite 13 of the collection and you get to choose from those 13 um, I'm going to participate in the swap so there will be 12 spots available and I'm going to host it for about a month and a half because I really would like these cards to be really decked out and the theme is probably going to be lace and pearls um, because I really love um, that combination with this collection and um, if you can commit to making 12 of these um, I really would like for you to sign up. I'm going to have an angel swapper just in case um, those that participate have an emergency because uh, you know I totally understand that that does happen um, but I really would like for you to sign if you can commit to 12 of these because I really would like everyone to get the full address um, you know full alphabet for the Rolodex and so again all that information is going to be on my blog I'm really excited after I host this one I'm gonna host another one but it's going to be for a calendar and a mini album because we're ready into March so you could probably use that calendar for next year um, but till then you can use it as a mini album and I'm probably going to do this shape right here because I really love the way it looks so um, I'll have that information once this swap is um, done and I'll keep you guys posted on my um, my YouTube channel so um, again, if you're interested, I'm really excited because, I, again, I've been wanting to alter one of these for the longest time. And, again, we're going to be using this shape, okay, for, um, for the curtain call swap. It's going to be this one. So um, thanks, everyone, for watching, and have a great day. Bye.